Texas Republicans are launching an investigation into what types of books school districts have, specifically ones that pertain to race and sexuality. In a letter to the Texas Education Agency, lawmakers pointed to Texas districts that recently removed books from classrooms after parent complaints. KXAN's Monica Madden explains what we know about this investigation and what Texas teachers think about it. It's a 16-page list of 849 books with titles like Thumbelina, V for Vendetta, and The Handmaid's Tale. The group of three Republican lawmakers are also asking districts to check how many copies they might have, which buildings they are in, and how much the books cost the district. Texas legislators are dramatically underestimating Texas youth. Some educators are growing frustrated over the state telling them what they can and cannot teach. Why are we passing these like blanket mandates? mandates about learning loss when the teachers know their students, they can design instruction and remediation around the needs of their students. It comes after lawmakers banned teaching critical race theory, which scrutinizes the history of racism and how it pervades current systems. No teacher we've heard from wants to teach those things. We have seen where it's creeping into teaching materials. Many of the books listed are about racism, but also education on teen pregnancy and LGBTQ topics. The content is out there. If our lawmakers prevent prevent teachers from tackling it, these kids are only going to get it from Snapchat and Instagram. The increased scrutiny over content in schools is not anything new. You can think about this the same way where we had the anger in schools over having Huckleberry Finn in school libraries. UT professor Eric McDaniel says it only makes sense that America's political divide is trickling into the classrooms. I see this as part of a trend of the nation trying to figure out who it is. And what's going on here is the nation is really wrestling. It's, it's a question of who are we? And one thing to know, the Republican spearheading this investigation, Representative Matt Kraus of Fort Worth, is running for Texas Attorney General against incumbent Ken Paxton. The other two, Stephanie Click of Fort Worth and Reggie Smith of Sherman, hold House seats that are up for re-election. The letter did not say how these books were selected or what might happen as a result of the inquiry. Krauss's office declined to comment.